Hello all, in today's video we are going to learn about WebSocket, its events and actions. A WebSocket is defined as a two-way communication between the servers and the clients, which means both the parties can communicate and exchange data at the same time. The main advantage of WebSockets is that it provides two-way communication that is full duplex communication on over a single TCP connection. Before we could uh, connect, uh, before we could communicate between the client and server, we have to initialize the connection between the server and the client and it is done so using a socket instance. We have variable socket is equal to new web socket instance we are creating where we give the URL of that particular uh, server that we would like to connect. Now let us see the, uh, the most important question that we can get from uh, uh, web sockets is the list the events and actions of web sockets. So the events are usually triggered when something happens. So the four main web socket API events are open, message, close and error. Each of these events are handled and implemented with functions like on open, on message, on close and on error. Now let us see what do we mean by the open event. Once the connection has been established between the client and server, once we establish a connection, a TCP connection which is a full duplex connection between the client and server, an open event is fired from the WebSocket event instance. We fire an open event. So this is actually an initial handshake between the client and server. Uh, this event uh, is raised uh, which is we called as on open. Then we have another event called as a message. Message event happens usually when the server would like to send some data. So the data that is coming from the server to the client could be anything. It could be plain text, it could be binary data or images etc. So whenever the data is sent, the on message function is fired. Then we have the close event that will actually mark the end of the communication between the server and the client. Closing the connection is possible with the help of the on close event. When we trigger this event on close, the connection will be terminated, will close the connection. Closing of the event can also happen due to poor connect connectivity between the client and the server. Then we have an error event. The last event is the error event which tells that it marks some mistake while communication and the on error event will mark the uh, error event. The on error is always followed by what happens on error after error. What is going to happen is we are going to have, uh, take it is going to terminate the connection. Now these were the actions. Now we'll see about what are the web so uh, the, the the ones which we have studied are events. Now we will see what are web socket actions. Events are generally triggered when something happens, but on the other hand, actions are taken when user wants something to happen. For like you would like to send the data or you want to close the connection. So we have two actions here supported by the WebSocket protocol. One is send and the other one is close. This action is usually preferred for some communication with the server where we are sending and receiving the messages. You can see here we are making use of the instance socket and sending the data. Then we have the close function which is basically used for a goodbye handshake. It terminates the connection completely so that no data can be transferred until it is being re-established. So we will call a socket close connection. Then coming on to the next topic that is web socket opening connection. So how do you open a connection on a using a web socket? Once a connection has been established between the client and server, the open event will be fired. This is the initial handshake between the client and server and this uh, raises the uh, event that is on open. Then creating WebSocket connection is really simple. What you have to do is you have to call a WebSocket uh, constructor, pass on the URL to it and then the connection gets established to that particular server. Now WebSocket handling errors, handling errors will make use of uh, the on error event where uh, an uh, um, error is a mistake which is generated uh, during a, uh, the communication process. 
so we will handle the errors and uh, then coming on to sending and receiving messages how do we send and receive message messages the message event takes place usually when as we told you we it happens using the message event where we will send a message uh, uh, event to send messages from the server to the client using the on message function closing a connection closing a connection can be done using which event using the close event which we trigger the on close event it is basically a goodbye handshake where we will close the socket connection now how does the web socket server working happens a web socket is a simple program which has the ability to handle the web socket events and actions okay so what we will be basically doing you can see here with the help of a diagram that uh, we server will create a server on we have a server on this particular local host the server starts running we will have an initial handshake uh, okay after the connection is established we will have a initial handshake with um, the open event and then once the connection is established uh, request for connection takes place establish of connection takes place initial handshake handshake takes place and then we will make use of message event on message uh, event which triggers the sending and receiving of messages and we will make use of the close event to close the connection then coming on to web socket security now many protocols are basically designed to provide security now uh, as we know web sockets are uh, a good mix of http and uh, uh, web server web sockets where we can have these following security attacks that is denial of service attacks now the denial of service attacks makes a machine or a network resources unavailable for service if a user is requesting now for example one may uh, somebody wantedly may send thousands of requests to a particular server because of which the server will stop giving responses or will make the responses very slow giving denial of service to the other users as well so this is called as the denial of service attack then we have the man in the middle attack where the man in the middle attack is someone if we have a and b chatting together i will have some um, third person in between that is looking up to the messages of a and b that is called as the mad man in the middle attack then we have the cross site scripting uh, which is a vulnerable attack where the attacker will inject a client side script into the web pages an attacker can send html or javascript code to your application hubs and let this code be executed on your client machine and conquer your machine so these are the web security attacks we can which we can have so this was about your web sockets about the events and actions about how do we open close connections how we handle errors and uh, how does the web socket operation takes place and what are the security concerns thank you